go. Yes. You. <laughs> we are all going to dance like Uncle Ron here. Go. Okay, we go. Uh, uh, yes, uh -huh. Uncle Ron. Uh, 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 uh. How uh, am I doing it? Yeah, hey, you're trying. Hey. hey, welcome to church, children. Yes. How are you doing? We are very excited to see you. Oh, by the way, how is school? Wonderful. My name is Uncle Bosco. Together with I'm Uncle Charles and I'm Uncle Ronnie. And you are welcome to church. So today we want to play a simple game. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Over there. All you have to do is follow my instructions, okay? Yeah. And my instructions are clap, snap, and stamp. Stamp. Yes. Let us try it out from there at home, all right? Make sure you have enough space. Children, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. Clap, snap, and stamp. Now, let's try it one more time and we'll see. Uh -huh. Okay. Three, two, one, let's go. Clap, snap, and stamp. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, just like that. So, Uncle Bosco and Uncle Charles, uh -huh. I want us to try it out, okay? Very yeah. ready. Are you guys ready? We are yeah. ready. Are you guys ready? We are ready. Yeah. All yeah. right. Let's go. Clap. Stamp. Ah. Someone was snapping instead of stamping. Snap. Okay, let's try one time. Snap. And clap. And stamp. Snap, clap, stamp. Snap, clap, stamp. All right, children. Now it is your turn over there. Are you guys uh -huh. ready to try out? In three, two, two one. one. Let's go. And clap, stamp, snap. Clap, stamp, snap. Clap. Hey, what has happened? I can see Bosco doing it. Yeah, we are clapping. I can even see Jen doing it there at home in their living room. Not so. Let's try one more time. Clap, snap, stamp. Clap, snap, stamp. And clap, snap, stamp. Well done. Yeah, well yeah. done. Well yeah. done. I yeah. hope you have yeah. a lot of fun today. For the rest of the fun, let us join the praise and worship team. Okay, well, Uncle Bosco. Yeah. 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 Those are my children of 2022. I know. Wow. Ha Hello, children. How are you? <laughs> my name is Uncle Kapale Francis, the one of 2022. Hey. And Aunt. my name is Auntie Kevin. Good to see you, children. I hope you had a wonderful week. Now, let's pray as we start the service. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for life. As we come in the service today, Lord Jesus, give us energy to dance to you. For in the name of Jesus, we have prayed and believed. Amen. Amen. Now, children, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. We are going to dance. Prepare those strokes. Uh -huh. uh? Let me see your come strokes. On. Let me see your strokes. Uh -uh. Let's go then. I'll show you. Okay, let's go. Woo! You're welcome to church. Come on, rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Let's praise God together. As we ready, we clap our hands like this. Then come on and we dance together. Like, like. Together, let's sing, I'm coming back. I'm coming back to the start where you found me. I'm coming back to your heart. Now I surrender. Now I surrender.
Wow, this is a very beautiful song and I love it. Indeed, God is our Jehovah Jireh. Our provider. And I believe, children, God has been providing for you. Because as for me, for her, God has been providing. Yes. Now, children, I would like us to get ready for our wonderful lesson. Yes. For the past few Sundays, mm -hmm. we've been learning about Behold the... New! Absolutely. And Auntie Doreen did an amazing job teaching us about Behold the New. And we answered two questions already. Mm -hmm. And the first one was, who is doing the new thing? All right? She told us that God is doing the new thing. Thing. All you have to do is to trust him. Look up to him because he loves you and he cares about you. The second question was... We answered mm. what God has done for us in the past. Yeah. And I believe God has done so many beautiful things for yes. you in the past. And if he's doing, you have wonderful testimonies, children. I want to encourage you. Write to us at kidsconnect at watotochurch.com. Let us know what is God doing in your life. Yes. And well, today, <laughs> today, today, we are going to answer question number three. three. Eh? Mm -hmm. Now watch out. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Just mm -hmm. get your notebook, your Bible, your pen. Yes. Auntie Doreen is ready to teach us question yes. number three. Hello children, what a privilege to be in God's house today. Are you excited to be in God's house today? I am so excited to be here. My name is Auntie Doreen and I'm glad to be here to, to teach God's word. As we dive into today's lesson, let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this day that you've given to us. Thank you that we are learning from your word, that we are learning that we need to behold something new. We need to expect great things that you are going to do in our lives today. So Lord, we invite you to be part of this lesson. May you speak to us. May we listen to you. In Jesus' name, and everybody says, amen and amen. Now, I want us to start by reading our theme verse. And our theme verse is from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19. And I'm sure by now, all of us are able to recite this verse. So let's recite it. Let's say it together. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Wow, great job, everybody. Thank you for reciting that verse. Well, children, behold, something new that God is going to do for you this year, 2022. And so far, we've answered two questions. Remember, at the beginning, I gave you three questions and we're able to answer the first question. Who is asking us to behold the new? And we found out and discovered that it was God. God is telling us to behold the new. And last week, we answered the second question that was, what has God done in the past? And we discovered that he's done great things. So today, we're going to answer our next question. And our next question is, how can we prepare to receive these new things that God is telling us about? Let's answer this question together. From the verse that we have read, God is telling us, number one, forget the former things. Those things that he did yesterday, forget them. And if, when, when he says forget, this is what he means. He means, do not dwell on the past. Do not overthink about the things that he has done yesterday. Why, why is that? Why shouldn't we dwell on what God has done in the past? Shouldn't we be grateful? Of course, absolutely. Count your blessings. Talk about them. But do not overthink about those things he has done. Because sometimes when we dwell on the things that God did yesterday, we do not think about the things that he's going to do the next day. We are not expectant. We're always thinking about, oh, he did this for me. You know, like how sometimes... When mommy does something for you yesterday, say, I want mommy to do the, the chicken like how she did it yesterday. But mommy says, no, today I'm going to do something new, something different. And she cooks the chicken differently. And mm, mm, mm. you say, wow. And that's the same thing that God wants to do for us. He did great things yesterday. And he wants to do even greater things 
tomorrow. So we need to learn to forget and be expectant for more, for greater things that God is going to do for us. Now, at the time God spoke to the Israelites, they were in captivity, just like I said. They were surrounded by their enemies, the Assyrians and Babylonians. And God is still, and, and they thought, you know, when God says, behold the new, it means he's going to rescue us like, you know, what he did to the Egyptians. He's going to bring, bring plagues and all those things. But no, that's not what God did. God did something new. He brought Jesus. Jesus came. His son came. And he came not only to save the Israelites, but to also save each and every one of us. And so when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we become his children, just like the Israelites. So children, behold, God is going to do something new. Be expectant. And God is going to do it differently, very different from what he did yesterday. Expect a new way that God is going to do it. Remember the time when Jesus was healing people? There were two different stories in the Bible about two blind men. The first blind man, God healed him by just touching his eyes and he was able to see. When the next one came, God told him, go and get mud, mix it with. He spat, sorry, Jesus spat uh, on, on, his, on, the, on the ground, mixed it and put it on his eyes. And he told him, go and wash in the water. And guess what? He was healed. Two blind men, they were both healed differently. And guess what? God is going to do the same thing for you. So be expectant. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 16, that we should not be anxious about anything, but in prayer and thanksgiving, we should make our requests known to God. So let's tell God what we want, well, what we would like him to do for us this year and believe, believe that he's going to do it. So we need to spend time in his presence. So apart from just forgetting the former things, we need to spend time in God's presence. Pray to him, talk to him every single day. Read the Bible, read your Bible, because from the Bible is where you get to read the promises that God has made to us. You get to claim the promises that God has made. Like, for example, he says, for I and alone know the plans I have for you, plans that will prosper you, that will not destroy you. So you claim that promise. And he also says you shall be the head and not the tail. Claim that promise for yourself and you will be successful in school. So please, children, expect new ways and new things that God is going to do for you. Another thing that we need to expect are opportunities that God is going to give us. He's going to bring our way, like opportunity to serve in God's house. Some of us are very good singers, very good dancers. Come on. There's a new opportunity for you this year. Come and be part of the worship team. Come and be part of the dancers. Come and be part of serving as an usher in church. That's a wonderful opportunity. Some of us are going to be asked to be leaders in our schools. Let us be the best leaders. God is giving us those great opportunities this year. So be the best that you can. So let's not dwell on the things of the past. Let's look to the things, the great things that God is going to, the new way he's going to do something, the new opportunities that he's going to give, he's going to bring to you. And just like the Israelites, when God sent Jesus, they received him. And even us right now, for those who have never received Jesus, we want to give you an opportunity. Can you come? Come into God's house. Receive Jesus today because that's the wonderful gift that God has given to us. So even right now, I want us to bow our heads and let's pray together. If you have never given your life to Jesus, let's pray together so that you receive Jesus even right now. Let's pray. Repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you that... I am here. I thank you that you died on the cross for my sin. I accept you, Jesus, as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart and take away my sin. Be the Lord of my life. I thank you in Jesus' name. And we all said, Amen and Amen. Children, 
behold, something new is going to happen to you this year. Expect it. Expect it from God because he is going to do something new. Let's pray together and let's believe God for all those things that he is going to do for us. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the word that we have learned today. We thank you that you are going to do something new. Thank you for the wonderful opportunities that you're bringing our way. Thank you for the, the new ways that you are going to use to bring new things our way. Thank you that you are going to do all these things for us. So we bring them before you and we expect that you are going to do something new in our lives. In Jesus' name and all God's children said, Amen and Amen. So children, be expectant. And here we love you and we know that God is going to bless you in 2022. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Children, that was an amazing lesson. Auntie Doreen, thank you so much. Indeed, we should expect a lot because God is doing something new in our lives. He loves us. He has wonderful plans for each and every one of you. Well, children, I want us to learn our memory verse. And it's still the same memory verse. Yes, it has not changed. So what we're going to do, we are going to say it together. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19. And what does it say? All of us together, one, two, three, go. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> You're very sharp. Now let me say it with you, all right? Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See. I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and the streams in the wasteland. All right? Just to encourage you children, let's keep trusting God. Let's keep praying more, reading our Bibles more, just like Auntie Doreen told us, as we expect God to do something new. Don't just sit and watch TV and wait for something to happen. Pray. Trust God, read the word of God, and you will do something new in your life. Hello, children. My name is Uncle Chris. I am from Wadoro Church, Subi. I take this opportunity to invite all of you, all who live around Subi, please be reminded that our in-person gatherings are in place. So please come and join us. God bless you. Welcome back from the lesson. Hope you had a good time. We want to sing with you this special song. The Bible says God is our provider. He provides my needs and your needs according to his riches and glory. So come on, let's worship God together as we declare that he's our provider. I'm already loved. I'm already chosen. I know who I am. I know what you've spoken. I'm already loved, more than I could imagine. That is enough. Let's sing that again. I'm already loved. I'm already loved. I'm already chosen. I know who I am. I know what's exposed. I'm already loved. More than I could. 
Jesus, for you are enough for me. For you are enough for every child. Jesus, we surrender our needs to you, trusting that you will provide because of your riches in glory. Lord, we give you thanks for this day. We worship you and we exalt your name. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed and believed. Amen. Amen. Thank you for attending service today. From us here at Children's Church, it is bye-bye. Wow, that was an amazing lesson. Thank you, Auntie Doreen, for encouraging us. Indeed, children, let's be expectant, and God is going to do amazing things in our lives. Let's pray, and we conclude the service. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for everything that we have learned today. May we be able to put it into practice. For in your loving name we have prayed and believed. Amen. Amen.